Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm gonna do a little bit of a different video today. I got some old hoof knives that have been basically sitting in a drawer and it's just gonna kind of show you guys how I go about basically bringing it back to life or putting it back into work. You can see still uh, got some life left to it. Just a lot of rust. Basically just needs to be hit on the buffing wheel and this one kind of the same thing. This one's a uh, Dan Salcedo knife. And this one here is a uh, Tosakai or Tony Kingery. So you can see this one here, this is a left-handed hoof knife. It's got the drop blade on it. And basically it's just got a lot of rust and super dull right now. So what we have to do is we're gonna come over here. We'll start with our Scotch Bright wheel. And we're gonna come in, I'm gonna hit backside first. And then I'm gonna come in on the front side, just initially take that rust off. And then when sharpening, once I got them cleaned up, I'm gonna come back here, have this back blade flat against the wheel. You don't wanna roll it or have it up. You want it flat, because you want the back of the blade to have a flat surface. And then on the inside, I'm gonna have it angled continuing the angle of the blade. I'm not gonna hit just the edge of the blade there. Cause then you're just gonna get a rolled edge. You wanna maintain the same slope and same angle as your blade. And then our right-handed Salcedo knife, gonna do the same thing. Come in flat first and then Come there, just knock the rust off first, and then we're just gonna maintain the same angle. So you don't want to come in at a different angle, that'll basically just give you a rolled, rolled edge and it won't stay sharp. And it doesn't really give you very smooth cutting or when you're knifing away, so let's do it. Okay, we're gonna come in first, the right-handed here, on our scotch Bright wheel. Coming in flat. See, we still got a little bit of rust in there. We'll try and get out. Now we're we've made contact. Yeah, you can see I've kind of got this one. This blade here has already got a little bit of a roll to it. So actually I need to take away some material right, right in there to make it all one smooth angle. So I'm just gonna hit that actually on my grinder. Come in on the grinder, I'm just gonna take away a little bit of material there so that way it's one smooth angle versus coming down here and then rolling down. one smooth plane from here to here on this knife. Now we'll just go in with Scotch-Brite. And since that's a pretty heavy gridded uh, sand and disc, it's got a lot of lines and grooves in it. So we'll come in, clean that up, make it nice and smooth. Get pretty hot on here, so it's quenching. Oh, not that sharp enough.
Yeah, so we've actually got, there's a little bit of a burr. It's hard to see if you can see that on the camera. Just a tiny little burr right there on the backside. You can actually feel it with your fingernail. And that's what you want to look for as far as when you've ground this side down. Then you'll come in here on your cotton wheel with some, uh, some rouge. And that just helps lube up your wheel. Let's see. And you're going to maintain the same angle as with you scotch break. Okay, now we're going to come in with our cotton wheel and some rouge. We've got our little burr there on the back side. And we're going to come in by starting taking that off there. And we're just going to maintain the same angle until our burr is away. Move up your wheel. to do with my camera's right here where I'm like that basically repurpose this knife if I didn't have such a coarse belt on that grinder a lot of them lines would be away but for the time being over the course of the next few times that you're sharpening these lines will basically disappear as you're using this let's do the, uh, the left hander and get that one there done okay same thing as before we're gonna start off coming here and then we're gonna come here Pretty good roll in there as well. So I'm gonna go over my grinder again, take that out of it. 